Hey guys, did another set of uh, intake ports from the single plane Mission Impossible project. I figured I'd give you a look. You can see I couldn't quite get that leading edge the way I wanted to, but it's it's all right. The rest of the port looks fairly good. Let me jiggle the light around. See if we can do any better with this light. Not great. You can see you can see what texture I used. You can see the bottom curves. Now what we did today was number four, number five. Let's take a look at the top side. Okay. So number four is very short. Number five is a little bit longer. So if you guys remember back a ways we were talking about these, I remember doing a torque or two and the inside short runners flowed way better. I expect the same thing with this. So this is what we got. Four is the really short one. Five is a little bit longer. A really short one did flow a little bit better. It's actually better almost everywhere. Okay, and the swirl, a tad better. But still, if you compare these to the two long runners, I think we got about 204 out of the long runners and they were very close. So overall, not bad. Now, obviously we don't have a carb on it, so it will make a difference when the push comes to shove on the dyno. But I'm still thinking about what Eric did on the dyno with his 400 cubic inch Chevy. I think it was a 408. With AFR enforcer heads, right? He said with the single planes, he was getting about 240 CFM through it. Well, I've done that experiment with Performer RPM, and without a spacer on them, they only pass about 220 CFM. So he put a one-inch open on it. Let's say it gains a little bit more than that, 225 maybe, something like that. He made 548 horsepower with a dual plane that was not touched. I think that's fantastic. Uh, it's it's literally hard for me to believe you can make that much power with an untouched manifold. But he did it. I, I really hope he goes, uh, he said he was going to, you know, port them and then redyno them. He's going to get nice gains on these intakes. I mean, dual planes are tough to port because you can't, can't always get everywhere. But still, 548 and 524 foot-pounds. That was actually in the middle of the, the middle of the range for torque. Because it's a dual plane, right? It actually produces torque better than a single plane, but at a lower, a lower RPM. I should mention I flowed these with the clay on the bottom and on the walls. I did a little flag action. It's very relatively smooth everywhere. It looks pretty good. Uh, the spacer should be here. I was expecting them today, actually, but. We'll see. UPS delivers till about six, so they could be here anytime. I'm looking forward to that. Okay, so to compare all four of these ports together, take a look at all those numbers, all those swirls. I think this little manifold is going to run really well. I'm actually uh, I'm pretty happy with it. All right, guys, completely wiped out. It's only Thursday, so I think I'm going to say goodnight. Thanks for hanging out.